Hi, everyone. As you know very well, we've made a lot of progress at Bell in the past couple of years, truly transforming ourselves from the Quebec, Ontario telephone company towards the preeminent national data internet company. It's been a rewarding and exciting time, but also a very tough time. There's been some very difficult trade-offs and a tremendous amount of change. And the challenges and the transformation journey will continue as we look ahead. So leadership and a sharpening focus on building shareholder value will be more and more critical. Not surprisingly then, the Building Shareholder Value Program has become a top priority and a key investment for Bell. The executive team is convinced that there will be a major return on this investment. But it's not just an investment by the company, it's an important investment of your time and your energy, both of which are scarce resources. So why should you make this investment? Well first, this is a high quality development program that takes direct aim at the values and capabilities we all need to be successful. Second, this workshop will give you a unique insight into our company and the context in which we operate, letting you make the decisions, plan the strategy, and tackle your competitors in the market, and based on very realistic scenarios and very realistic simulations. And third, the mix of teamwork, competition, and learning will make it a very memorable, dynamic, and I think a valuable experience for you. So give it your best shot. Get the most you can out of this workshop, get your competitive juices flowing, and have some fun in the process. What I really liked about this course was it was very interactive, it was very hands-on. So, are we going for landline pictures first? Uh, it's team, uh, what's up first? Oh. Everything that we do affects our business. Yes. The action that every employee takes in a company contributes that much, almost half of the value of a stock. This is really an opportunity of a lifetime to be able to run a company. Employees who are well informed certainly impacts them tremendously and there's a sense of loyalty and respect that comes through this as well. If your job is a, a customer service rep answering calls, you do have an impact. There is a competitive component to this. During the program, we will actually break you up into teams then you will be competing against each other, running your own telecommunications companies. As you've probably seen, you have a computer per team, uh, and the tool is already on the computer. Now what this is, is basically a planning tool. So what it will do for you is calculate a lot of things. It's a spreadsheet based. There's one thing that it won't do, it's a computer, it won't think for you. What, what the tool did is that tool enabled you to see that okay. if you didn't have the programs, if you don't have the people, if you didn't have the technology to react to the market, then you would lose share. If you didn't, didn't do something right in one section, it would identify it in another section, and then your, your cash flows and your monies wouldn't work out. So it was a really, in my view, an excellent analytical tool for someone who doesn't have that kind of background or expertise. Capital 20 million? Oh. Yeah, but you just closed 20 stores. Once that we made our decisions, we would often have to start again from the very beginning. You know, did it change uh, market share or did it change the costs in a, in a certain area? That melts our cash. We'd have to borrow 250 million. Well, do we know our marketplace, how a business decision we're going to make today is going to be 100% impacted by the customer? No. So in that way, it did predict real life. Penetration is five, five, nine, fourteen. The easiest way to think about economic profit is you increase value when your earnings are greater than the cost you paid to do what? <coughs> to finance all of the stuff that you used to generate the earnings in the first place. The decisions we made were very concrete, that we had looked at the competitive analysis, we had looked at, we looked at the market analysis, we had looked at what our customer base was all about, and we had also looked at the employee piece. We felt that we had made the right decisions. Number one, number two, number one, number one, number two. We're going to Congratulations to everyone. You all made it through the first year on the first day. 
was out of the box thinking, it was breaking down the barriers, it was building camaraderie and respect for the other individuals within the group, and started really interfacing as a team, and took everybody's little bit of expertise to pull in to make sure that the program worked. And we were very competitive, that's what I felt, we were very competitive as an organization. But it was a give and take environment. Certain people would focus on what features are we going to add, and they would be into the features. You could see also that if you don't have flexible pricing, if you're not able to quickly react to the market, someone else will. Only on the second year that we realized yeah. that um, the strategies had flawed and the execution was not, uh, well, not, was not perfect. The average price increase. in the market has fallen 10%. Okay. You know, if we can give them the features, the features and broadband, are broadband uh, the customer service that they're looking for, yeah. You went back and you could see your numbers, you could see, oh, hack, you know, someone else had a better pricing model. And this had nothing to do with the fact that they had a better computer than we had or they had better people than we had. It all had to do that they made a better decision. You are working on a task where you're getting relatively immediate results and I think that's very, very beneficial. It keeps the whole group motivated and you can keep going forward and learning. I learned. What is the cost of not making the right decision at the right time? Accounts receivable is not money your customers owe you. Accounts receivable is money you have loaned. Interest free. Okay, let's run all this together. Let's take a look at total revenues in millions of dollars for your companies this year. A lot of your revenues in blue are coming from your local service still. Uh, mobile a little bit, long distance in, uh, in green here. What the course is trying to teach you, when you spend the money, are you spending it on the right thing? So a good cost is one that I could almost equate to as an investment. What is a bad cost is one that I will eventually just have to write off. I know that uh, being internet wireless uh, is very important and we have to look at those technologies. But again, we can't do it in isolation of what the customer wants. Uh, there was a lot of times when we were focused in one direction and had to make an abrupt left-hand turn and go in another direction so that we could bring our numbers back up. And we had to adapt and become very flexible. Another piece of news, oh, yes, are you interested? Yes, Absolutely. Yes. Long distance market report. The curves that were thrown to us during the course, if your strategy was sound and you were following those tactics, wobblers really didn't make that much of a difference. These moves are expected to squeeze prices for long distance. Analysts estimate the maximum price. What we did was after each year, after doing an exercise, we would go back and look at our strategy and say, okay, are we on task? Does this make sense with what we wanted to do in the beginning? Which is the one that is not only the most difficult to improve consistently, but the one that is the most important? It is revenues, why? I thought it was all about profits. You've got competitors. Sometimes revenue is just... <laughs> because you've got competitors. Right. But the main, th the main point here is how do we consistently find pockets of growth? And really... The model of running a company for four years, right, the value of the course was that you could see the outcome of your decision. I think this program, it's very dynamic. It's, it's very quick, fast decision making. It also is a course that allows different folks to be together different, in different capacity. The model of running a company for four years, right, the value of the course was that you could see the outcome of your decision. The simulation showed, and even the coursework showed, the value of being an innovator and being first to market. You would have an opportunity to go away take the theory that was discussed and then you're going to practice it and put it into the model and apply it. Everybody were, was off and running and focused on the job itself, which I thought was fabulous. They were fast, they were and entertaining, the they got you motivated to go out and try that in the real world. It really does provide you with an overall of the company and how to run a business. It really does impact you. And I, I haven't met anyone who has taken the course who hasn't felt exactly the same way. Well, number two, we have Lesby, number one winner! Developing the strongest team, the most relevant the skills. Go the winners, go the spoils. Innovative and timely decision-making, and a united vision. The Shareholder Value Program.